am Rachel. I was friends with Jeremy and um, my friends and I all played league and we decided this would be a really cool opportunity to, you know, identify ourselves more with our characters. Um, I chose Sejuani just because she's one of my favorites to play and I, I really identify with her as I, I play polo. So it, it's pretty similar to her um, as well as uh, she seems to be more of like an independent and strong character, which I try to be. Cool beans! Today I'm accompanied by my fabulous friend Catherine, who is an amazing artist that I drew with in high school. Uh, on the left is my drawing, and I'm drawing in red right now, and Kat's drawing in black. I'm using Procreate. Yeah, I'm using Autodesk Sketchbook, which is a free app um, on the Apple Store, Microsoft Store. I'm basically using two reference images, uh, one picture of Rachel and one uh, sketch I made with pencil um, just to create the base, you know, shapes and structures, stuff like that. Right now you'll notice that I'm using the wrong reference image. I didn't realize that this wasn't another skin for Sejuani. Um, just there's just so many different skins and different types of variations of each character and so I thought this was an option and obviously it's not and you'll find that I later realized this. So as we were comparing photos, I was like, this is the wrong, <laughs> this is the wrong outfit. But um, yeah, so I'm just using pencil for my sketches. Um, unlike Jeremy, he has a base, his base uh, red for his draft. I didn't really use a draft. I kind of just used a bunch of layers and um, penciled on what I liked. And so it's very sketchy looking. There's a lot of different marks and stuff. It's not completely defined. But what I like about that is that actually because Catherine used such thin lines that the sketchiness doesn't really, it's not thick. It's not super obvious at first. And it's kind of subtle. I And I like um, how this all kind of ties together and creates this really, um, like it, it almost looks like a paper map, hand drawn, classical drawing. And I, I like how she's done this and it's got an interesting effect. <laughs> I, I like tiny brushes, I guess. I mean, it's just, it's literally a pencil. I couldn't change the size of the pencil. It's just, it's just how the program wanted me to draw, I guess. So is it a number two pencil? Is it take on <laughs> Number two pencil somewhere, I guess. Oh, I mean. Yeah, so you're using a lot. I like how you have your reference images on your uh, on your background. And I also found this nifty, that nifty warping thing. I was able to change up the tail, just changing the lion, and later you'll see I, I change around her weapon to make it bigger, you know, change the perspective of it. It's pretty cool. It looks like I finally caught on that I drew the wrong costume. And yours looks so realistic. I love that. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. So when I did uh, trace Rachel, or I did take that reference picture, and I really wanted her face on there like to look like her and some of her uh, body proportions. So I did trace or outline um, what she looked like, and then I added everything else on top just to get it as realistic as possible. And you're just starting to add shadows. How did yes. you create your shadows, Catherine? Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, you can't really see it, but um, I just use that teardrop looking thing. It's to select a color. So I select one of the base colors I put down. And in that same hue range, I just make it a little darker on the color wheel. And with my paintbrush, I just go in and make shadows. So, so she's the not only... changing it. She's not moving the color wheel no. around a different color combination. She's keeping it in the same vein of color. And what that means is that right now, what you're looking at, that red color wheel, it's just the same hue. But if I were to move the entire, my finger around the color wheel, I'm changing the combination of red, blue, and yellow, completely changing the hue itself, not just the shade, meaning how much black and white is there. And so I can change, um, apply shades, different layers, to create um, different shades, different black and white, like variations inside the image, but I can also change the hue and like kind of add reflections, lighting, and kind of create some visual interest there. And you can see that I did that in the lion, um, noting that the yellows are completely different. Like for example, there's that orangey hue on the left, and then there's that bright yellow on the right. And then I added um, just a couple, a couple like um, 
shades and hues myself. And then at, at the end, I actually added um, this, I kind of like copied the green of Sejuani's costume, and then I reflected that onto the lion and created um, kind of this, this luminescence. Yes. So I'm just altering it a little bit. I only made one uh, shade pretty much for each thing, each different color. I didn't want to get too complicated. Um, yeah, so I'm just going back in, changing up the hair. I had a little hard, a little bit of a hard time with the hair. The hair looks good, especially on the line. <laughs> Thank you. So on the pants, you see all those um, little dots. I actually used a brush for that on Procreate. I tapped the brush button and then clicked rosette. And so I'm using the rosette brush to create that. And that saved me a lot of work um, creating all those textures for me. And I just think as I'm experiencing Procreate and getting more experience with this, I'm exploring more brushes. And I think it was really helpful at first that I only used one because it simplified things a lot more. Notice how I'm actually just drawing the boxes with a marker brush, so it's a little bit transparent and then going back over it to create value, whereas Kat actually drew the chain herself, which is a lot of work, and honestly, that's, that's a labor of love. And so both of us are just finishing up our drawings, um, and we're just about ready to present these to Rachel. Yeah, so while we're at it, um, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share my videos if you appreciate my content and want to support my learning. Um, I just so appreciate um, everybody out there. This has been so amazing, and I'm so happy I can do this. All right, so this is Rachel. Look away real quick. We're going to pull up um, Jeremy's first. All right, Rachel, you can look at it. Cute. The, the lion looks so angry. He looks like an <laughs> old man. Yeah. He looks, yeah, I guess. He does look very angry. It's cute. How do you think he portrayed you? Too happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. I okay. think it works. Okay. And now close your eyes again. I'm going to pull up my drawing. All right. Yeah, you got my face very stoic. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> oh, he's got multiple co eyes? Mm -hmm. Is that how it was in the actual skin? Yep, he has two different eyes. Jeremy also did that over here. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, because he has <gasps> yellow here. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah? I like I like him. You like him? Are mm -hmm. you satisfied? Yes. You know, it, it reaches to my inner <laughs> polo playing soul. <laughs> I like how Jeremy had a lot more emotion with his, like his swinging as well. Mm -hmm. Mine was kind of like just, hey, I'm holding it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, overall, you guys are very good at drawing. Oh, I'm very impressed. Wow, what a reaction, guys. 